Jai Hind everyone, welcome again to the Petrotic IS. We have taken nearly about 10 days of the pod. It was due to the, uh, as we are going to shift from the online mode to the offline mode, not shift from the online to the offline mode, but we are going to include the offline mode as well. So it will be the online mode plus the offline mode and we were into the process were a process of the construction of all this thing, arranging the thing, managing the thing, and that's why it was uh, it was taking a lot of time, and that's why we were not able to continue with our current affairs and uh, this classes. So now onwards, there will be the regularity and the consistency in our process, and each of the classes will be posted in a time-bound manner, and on a daily basis we ensure that. However, we have improved our infrastructure and everything. And those who want to join the classes into the Gorakhpur, into the offline mod, they are most welcome to join us because we are going to provide one of the most, uh, most significant and the most modern and the, with a lot of feature into the, these class sessions. We will provide, we will cover all the topic of the UPSC as well as we are going to cover the state pieces topic. We are going to provide the test series on the each of the topic. For the prelims, we are going to provide the separate test series for the UPSC as well as the UPPCS. So there will be the 25 tests, uh, tests. it will be the full length test that will include all the syllabus of the UPSC in the separate module as well as 25 tests for the state PCS, Uttar Pradesh PCS. So that those who are preparing for the state PCS, they can join us our, our standard of the question will be as per of the UPSC as well as the state pieces. Besides that, our focus area will be also on the men's syllabus and the men's area. All the topic, all the paper, GS paper 1 to GS paper 4 will be covered, not only for the state pieces, but also for the UPSC. So it will be for the both mod, and we will be dedicated for the both of the mod. And we are going to provide you the quality of education that will be at the par with the those who are providing into the Delhi. Even we will try our effort, we will make ever our 100% of the effort to provide the lectures as per the par with the Delhi Institute and the those top institute from the Delhi. Our faculty, they are well experienced, they have written the mains as well as they have appeared into the interviews. Here, we will also provide the one-to-one -one mentorship that those faculty who is going to teach, they will also guide the student on one-to-one -one basis. So it will be a full-fledged, complete package for the GS as well as the other area, except the optional. Even into the future, we will try to provide the optional topic, optional topic of the few of the important subjects such as the history, maybe it will be for the political science, maybe for the geography. So these are the important area where the maximum students appear. We will provide the optional, optional class lectures into the future. This will be all about so here the fee structure that has been kept at the minimum level so that everyone can afford and the facility will be those who are taking the three times four times more fees than us will be same so here you will see that the quality education in the low cost budget so this will be our feature even you can visit our office this is into the Padlegans. It, it is the center of the Gorakhpur. just it is the 500 meter from the uh, university that is the main center the where the education center is situated and we are on the connectivity link as well there is a lot of highways that is going across from the Gorakhpur. so all that we have taken a lecture so you all know that the here the fooding is better the accommodation is cheap as compared to the those uh, those metro cities such as the Delhi where you ha you will afford the 2 BHK into the 40,000, 45,000, the same 2 BHK you can afford into the just 10 to 15,000 and proper 2 BHK with a lot of facility. Besides that the fooding is cheap, you can, uh, you, can, uh, you can have the access to the food from the across the India, it, uh, be it from the South Indians or the be it into the North India, West India, even the North, uh, North East India because here the wage as well as non-wage availability is the on the, uh, that is the quality level. Okay, so all this thing is already here into the Gorakhpur, so uh, you all are most welcome into the, this Gorakhpur city, and already this is the center of the pilgrimage for the 
Buddhism as well as for the Hindus, Godaknath temple is so much famous. Beside that, it is, it is famous, it is associated with the Nath Sampradaya, that is the Nath sect, one of the sect from the Hinduism. Beside that, this is the center of the other religion. There is the Kushinagar, very near to us, this is 60 kilometers away, and that is the center for the Buddhism. Here, the Kapil Vastu and other such pilgrimages, uh, they are very close to the, the city. So here, you will have the everything, you are most welcome to here. So let's start our session with the, this topic of the current affairs that we are going to discuss one by one. We have the seven topics that we will discuss from the today's newspaper that those areas that are relevant for the UPSC and the state position. Most of the relevant area, these initial areas, just, just, uh, such as the Bhil tribes and the basic information associated with it. Termodic cultivation that is associated with the GS paper, uh, uh, this is associated with the prelims area of the UPSC as well as the state pieces. State legislative council, this is associated with the mains as well, not only for the prelims, here they can ask that the, uh, how this relevance of the legislative council because they have the economic board in as well as there has been the criticism with the relevance of the, this legislative council, so it will be for the mains as well. After that we will enter into discussion of the health regulation, here we will discuss that the how the regulatory approach with respect to the health sector that is in India. What is the dual standard the regulatory authority adopt with respect to the private health sector and the negative image we have made with the doctors and the private health sector but the importance of this, uh, this, uh, uh, this one doctor clinic or the, this private hospitals are also important that will be discussed here. This will be part of the governance, GS paper 2 and this is part of the mains area of the state pieces as well as the UPSC. Then we will study the return of the social justice this is into the context of the Maratha, uh, Maratha and uh, uh, the Maratha politics. Recently we saw that there has been the so much uptowns. There was the, into the last four years there has been the continuous changes, dynami uh, uh, dynamics change into the Maratha's politics. For example, there has been the breakdown of the political parties. Later, there has been the reverse into the, the wave of the politics that is going on and that was visible into the re recent result of the Lok Sabha election. After that, we will study the uh, this united, they thrive, this is with respect to the Andhra Pradesh and the politics into the Andhra Pradesh. So these are the political news, they are not that much relevant, but at least as, the, as a student of the political science, you should be knowing of the local politics and the regional politics. So those students who belong from the political science international relation option, the, the, for them this is the very relevant. After that, into last we will study the Bijare judgment. This is important with respect to the polity where you talk about the uniform civil code and the judgment uh, like this give a negative setback to the such type of the approach where we want to achieve the uniform civil code. So this is all, all the topic that we will discuss one by one. Let's start with the first news that we are going to take. So we will start with the front page. The front page is not relevant news. Again, this is the... A statement from the JDU and the different alliance, allied partner of the NDA. So there is the demand for the more number of the seats and the scrapping of the, some of the scheme that was taken into the previous government, such as the Agni Pathi scheme. The review of such scheme has been demanded by the, these political parties because now the government is going to be formed with respect to the help of the, these allied parties and that's why their size has increased. That has been not seen into the previous government that was under the Modi, um, uh, Modi 2.0. Now it is the Modi 3.0 that is famously known now. After that to uh, this uh, next news again it is not that much relevant. This is with respect to the uh, polit uh, uh, political dynamics into the Maharashtra. With respect to the state assembly there has been the sum of the changes that is visible here with respect to the due to the negative result of the with respect to the those alliance formed by the BJP. One news that is again this is the controversial news this is with respect to the NEET uh, aspirants they are uh, asking for the read test because there has been the sum of the allegation that there was the paper leak and beside that there has been the marks that was stalking marks. Many of the candidates who have 
got the 100% marks, 100 percentile as per the level of the difficulty of the, this paper that was not possible and that's why the students are demanding for the uh, retest. This is all about one more thing you should remember with respect to the prelims. This is the operation overload. So the question can be asked that the operation overload is associated with the which war or the battle. So this is associated with the World War II and after this operation overlord there was the change into the uh, there was the change into the situation and status of the World War II. It was previously dominated by the Axis power but due to the, this Normand, uh, war into the Normandy there was the change and the, it was the allied who started dominating the war. So this is uh, all about from this uh, front page. This again, this is the political statement. This is the allegation for the manipulation of the stock market. So the, you you don't need to go into the detail. Again, this is the continuously news that is going on the attack of the Israel onto the Gaza. Mainly, you should remember that the, this this Nusirat refugee camp. This is associated with the. Gaza and it is into the central Gaza. Thus, that is more than sufficient. Next news that we are going to take with respect to this uh, performance of the Bhil community into the Rajasthan. This is the southern part of the Rajasthan. So, with respect to this, you should know that the uh, this about the Bhil uh, community. So, you should know about the basics about the Bhil community. So, they are mainly associated with the pre-Aryan tribe and they are associated with the, mainly with the Munda race. Here it is given that the Munda race and why the Bhil, Bhil is associated with the Billu word. Here the Billu is associated with the bow. The bow that is used by the tribal. So this thing you should remember. They are mainly, they are mainly concentrated in the area of the Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh, Andhra Pradesh and the Tripura. So you should have the picture of the map that where they are residing and they are classified at the Indo-Aryan similar to the Gujarati and the Marathi, their language, okay? And uh, mainly they are specialized into the guerrilla warfare. So please remember this as well. And their skill is mainly with respect to the archery. So their bill, uh, their bill, bill with the bow and they, uh, by that you can reach to the conclusion that the archery is the specialization of the, this wheel community. The attire of the wheel community, this is dominated by the this uh, jewelry ornaments that is made of the silver brass and uh, uh, silver coins. So you can be uh, see there, here it is the attire and the ornaments that is by, that is uh, mainly used by the this community and the women of this community. Next news, we will go take is uh, with respect to the this is simple news this is uh, this is generally you should know that the how there is the many a times the manipulation is taking place into the election so many a times the similar type of the symbol is given and in that case those party who have the similar type of the this uh, symbol they got there is the transfer of the votes from the in the confusion for example, most of the Indian community still the literacy rate is very low. So they do not read the political name of the political party or the candidate. They, they just go for the, the symbols and the, this symbols on the basis of the, this symbol they vote. So this was the case into the Maharashtra where the NCP they has the symbol of the, this uh, Tutari. This is the trumpet a type of the template that is generally used into the uh, marriages ceremony. You must have been seen. So many of the candidates was given the same type of the tutari trumpet and that's why there has been the as per the claim by the NCP that the their percentage and their numbers of the vote reduced due to this. So just this is the one of the thing that you should know. Next important news, again, this is not that much important. This is again political news. It is talking about the why the scenario into the Uttar Pradesh change. Despite there was the, so many effort by the BJP, they were talking about the Ram Tem Temple inauguration of all this thing. Beside that, they lost the seats, the seats that was very core region of the Ayodhya. All the seats into the Ayodhya Mandal was lost. So what is the reason? The reason is that the 
this uh, religious politics that was countered by the caste politics caste com combination as well as the the schemes and the claim for the social justice and the the protection again the protection of the constitution all this thing was uh, mainly factored for example here the bjp tried to counter the sp by the making the yadav as the chief minister of the uttar pradesh but the people of the uttar pradesh whenever the, he went into the his campaign the people asked that if the uh, if the bjp is so much concerned about the yadavas in the uttar pradesh out of the 80 seats only one yadav was given for the uh, for the this uh, election so uh, that was countered beside that there was the lot of seat he uh, given to the koiris and the pasis and jatavs and that's why there was the change into the vote that is shifted from the bsp to the sp so one of the region was there so these are all the things beside that the combination and alignment with the congress that helped into the consolidation of the muslims vote and this was the one of the region that consolidated the vote for the combined opposition under the india block so this is all about from the, this news next news that we are going to take is from the, this picture you see this picture and this is the picture that is showing the turmeric cultivation here the turmeric cultivation so you should know about the basics about the turmeric cultivation this could be the part of gs paper one geography human geography where you talk about the uh, agriculture and the different type of the cultivation so most important thing about this is that it is known as the golden spice the most other thing that this is relevant for the state pieces as well as for uh, for the upsc prelims so in the prelims they can ask that in the world what is the rank of the india into the cultivation so india is the first into the turmeric cultivation in the world and the second thing is that it is the maharashtra into the india that has the ranked first into the cultivation of the turmeric so these two things you should remember with respect to the prelims they can give for the arrangement of the different state and they can give the maharashtra you should know it is on the top next news that we are going to take that is relevant for us yes yes here it is the legislative council so here news is that all 11 candidates elected unopposed into the Karnataka Legislative Assembly. So here you should know that uh, Legislative Assembly. So this is like the upper house. Like the into the parliament there is the upper house that is known as the Rajya Sabha and the, there is the Lok Sabha. Lok Sabha the people are directly elected by the people. In this election of the Legislative Council, the same like as the Rajya Sabha, the indirect election is taking place. Not indirect election, there is the very limited franchisee. And this is segregated on the basis of the different categorization. So you should note there will be the detailed discussion into the political uh, polity classes that the how the Legislative Council is the board in on the exchequer of the state and the, what is the process of the this constitution of this legislative council the basic about this you should know is that the the age for the contesting in the, this council is the 30 years not the 25 years generally we think that it is 25 years because it is for the parliament the lok sabha and for the state legislative assembly it is 25 but, but for the state legislative council it is the 30 years okay and we have now the six states who have the legislative council and those six states are the up and bihar that is famous and uh, most of those states who have the large population beside that we have other states such as the karnataka and andhra pradesh it was the andhra pradesh now due to the bifurcation now it has become the telangana so you can remember this too and in the south these are the two in up and bihar whenever up comes bihar comes simultaneously and this maharashtra previously it was the jambu and kashmir but due to the 2019 bifurcation now the legislative council is not uh, there as the, we already know the state status of the state has been are taken away now it is the union territory so please remember that the in the state of the jammu and kashmir telangana has now come so the number of legislative council for the states remains six it was six previously six now is still so please remember maybe in the prelims of uh, state pieces or the upsc they can ask such question this is all about 
you will uh, this will be discussed into the detail that why these state uh, council are important many a times it was uh, alleged that the many a times those politicians who are not able to win the election into the uh, 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 this uh, election for the uh, state legislative assembly they are posted here just as the burden or the given as the prize for the loyalties of the those parties or the those who are leading the party so this is all about there is the pros and cons of the legislative council so you should know about the this so this is all about next news now the topic we are going to discuss is from the editorial page and this is health regulation need a base to the top approach so here the main discussion point of this topic is the in the context of the recent event that happens into the new delhi where there was a fire into the hospital and there was a casualty so in this regard the writer want to discuss that what are the issue that is the health sector the hospitals are facing in india here you will see that the, there has been the dual nature of the treatment by the government to the regulation to the private hospital and the private hospital for example here the main analysis that comes out of the this uh, analysis of this events was that it was the lack of the regulation however the writer is telling that the there is the excess of the regulation here the writer has mentioned that there is 50 approval that is needed to open a private nursing home or the hospital so there is the difference between the regulation if there is the private nursing home the regulation is very high but whenever there is the government hospital the regulation is minimal and that's why the most of the events that is happening into the government hospitals here you will see that the the writer want to say that already we have lot of laws that regulate all this thing and many of the laws are not as per the realistic approach for example one of the law here is mentioned the cl clinical establishment registration and regulation act of the 2010 here the writer want to say that already this law is perfect in its uh, theoretical form however the in the practical form it is not able to be implementable on the ground and that's why even after 70 years of the passing of this law this law passed into the 2007 but even into the 2022 the government is not able to implement this why because the unrealistic nature of this law Besides that, the writer here, the writer has mentioned that the unrealistic standard that is very high. Beside that, you will see that the most of the hospital service that is the out patent. Okay. And here, the most of the services is provided by the private nursing home into the semi-urban area. So, if the regulation is increased what will happen the cost of the hospital will increase if i have opened a hospital and if there is the hundred and thousand of the regulation for example i have to go for the hundred of the paper signing to the government official what will happen beside the cost of the government the this government official into the government offices they ask for the bribe and whenever i will give the bribe the cost of the hospital functioning and the running cost will increase and who will pay for this it is the common man you and me is going to pay in that case if you will see that the burden of this high cost rise will be on the common man and you will see that the 80 near about the 80 crore as per the government claim 80 crore people are below the poverty line they are going for the pm kisa pm uh, this un uh, un under that there is the food distribution uh, food distribution by the government for example there is the distribution of the rice wheat and the cereals and that's why the cost is high into the the if the cost will be high it have to pay by the common man and the common man do not have the paying capacity for the their food how they will pay for the uh, this uh, 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 medical expenditure so here you, you will see that the mainly the writer want to say that whenever you are going to increase the 
standard and the regulatory procedure you have to fund as well for example here the writer want to say that the, if you will go into the cities government is ready to pay, pay for the elevators so if they are going to increase the cost with the standard and regulation for the fire it should government who should subsidize and fund one of the example here the writer has given is the dual treatment of the public hospital and the government hospital there is the two cases in one case there was the incident and accident what happened this was the private hospital and in the case of the private hospital the government suspended the license but the same thing happened with the government hospital they just set up the inquiry committee and matter was resolved so here you will say uh, see that the how they are being harsh with the private hospital and uh, with the government hospital there is always negative attitude towards the doctors here the writer has given that the there is the political comment as well as the media headline with respect to the doctors and the private hospital if there is the one mistake by the private hospital or the doctors all the private doctors are painted in a very negative image and in that case there is the increase violence against these doctors and the healthcare providers so the way they are they are uh, being treated by the media or the politician or the the image into the eyes of the common man that is not good for the indian poor section because the most of the poor sections they are dependent on this single doctor clinics that are small into the village and the accessibility of the people is only to the this single doctor clinics and that's why the writers is of the views that the if there is the increase standardization or the increase regulation yes it should be but the government subsidize or the funding should be there so that the cost can be reduced and the the <coughs> treatment with the private hospital and the doctors and the government doctors should be on a similar line the rules should not be the theoretically perfect it should be also feasible on the ground situation and in the realistic manner that is the main thing that writer want to say say here and only then we can achieve our national health policy that promise for the accessibility of the 100% medical care facility for the each of the person and the citizen so this is all about you can have the point with respect to the how the governance and the regulation of the government and private hospital should be there so this is the with respect to the health regulation you can start with the the anecdote that has been provided after that you can bring the what are the issue and how the it could be resolved so this is all about from the this news analysis next news that we are going to take again from the editorial page this is mostly a political news however we will just try to summarize in a very brief manner what this article want to say the result of the recent lok sabha election and the performance of bjp and the opposition into the maharashtra so here the writer want to discuss that the how the performance of bjp was much better 5 years back but how this has been changed so here the region has been given for the change to nature and the changing cause of the result here the main region was the anti incumbency the first region was this because they were ruling the second region was the sentiments among the farmers and mostly it was into the marathas and the dalits and also the way campaign was based by the opposition leader the here the writer has mentioned that the, the way the bjp played the role into the breakdown of the two parties ncp's uh, ncp and the shiv sena so this was the one of the region that the way the sarad pawar was being treated this gives a empathy into the heart of the people that the sarad pawar is already a old leader he is into the political life for the very long time and he has a very strong hold into the marathas the farmers into the maratha region particularly into the region such as the maratha wala okay further the writer here discuss that the the way bjp played its role into the fragmentation of these two parties was taken in a negative way by the people and it was treated that the bjp is doing the macavil uh, macavilian 
political move means the it is the for the just for the self interest it was the clever move that was taken into the people and that created sentiments a positive sentiment for the shiv sena and the sadat pawar beside that the rss that has made a ethical values for the bjp that has been eroded by the this breaking down the way the government was formed and the the way the mlas and the other leaders was treated so this is all about here the other thing is that the udhav thakre and the role of the sarad pawar udhav thakre played a good role into the initial uh, initial stage of his chief ministership he also dealt the this uh, uh, this covid time in a very uh, very effective manner that has given a positive signal to the people here it is given beside that udhav thakre was considered as the reformist hindutva leader here reformist hindutva leader because he had the soft stand for the muslims as well so the his position was a bit that much of the moderate leader so that was also played into the favor of these two parties okay beside that the way bjp responded the demand for the maratha reservation it was late response and the people conceived that this was just manipulation not a genuine move by the bjp this is the other region further the writer discuss here the way the obc leader like the chagan chagan bhujbal has been treated and the way he reacted into the context of the maratha reservation when there was the demand for the maratha reservation obc leader like the chagan bhujbal he said that the, this is just for the political gain and he they were opposing there was a divide between the maratha demand and the obc leaders and the obc community and this was mainly it was due to the the tussle the balancing act by the bjp that was not as per as it was demanded so here you will see that the, this has also acted against the bjp with respect to the obc community further the writer here has mentioned that the how the dalit vote shifted into the favor of the congress and opposition it was due mainly due to the way mr ambedkar and his party banchit bahujan aghadi that was led by the prakash ambedkar the grandson of the baba saab ambedkar here his response was not taken in a positive move by the voters because the way he acted it was not considered as the genuine act and he decided to separately contest the election here those voters who were previously with the congress later they thought that the it is congress move that is talking about the about the social justice and the cost censor that is much better stand for the dalits and the backward caste as compared to the the stand taken by the prakash ambedkar here in the last we will see that the, there is a summary how there is the overall act of that and uh, the opposition able to project itself as the defender of the constitution uh, uh, as well so all this acted in a combination for the shift into the result under that the bjp that got 23 seats in the 2019 election now it has reduced to the nine seats so this is all about if those student who are from the political science background they can use it with respect to the the local politics that is going on into the and the regional parties the way they are uh, acting and the change in the political alliance and the political dynamics into the indian context so all this you can use next news again we will take from the editorial page itself and this is from the editorial column the first column again this is the political news it is talking about the way tdp has performed and the the tdp co coalition with the bjp and jan sena party here you will see that the performance that there is the drastic change the uh, overall percentage of the opposition the, the the party that was into the power that was the yscrp under the mohan reddy yes jagan mohan reddy here so here you will see that the the way the shift has been taken here there has been the 164 four seats that has been into the out of 175 seats into the coalition led by the tdp 
So here, what is the main reason? The main reason was that the governance into the Andhra Pradesh, the, uh, mainly the Jagan Mohan Reddy, he was mainly based on the social welfare in, entitlement in the state of the governance. Here it is given that the, how there has been the change into the per capita income of the Andhra Pradesh. For example, the Telangana has been ranked first with respect to the highest per capita income, while the Andhra Pradesh there has been the, it has been ranked at the tenth number. So here this is the one thing. The other thing that gone against the Jagan Mohan Reddy was the capital. He was not about to decide the capital of the Andhra Pradesh and that's why he is considered that the his capacity into the governance and in area of the jobs and the development is not efficient and that's why there is the change into the overall seats. However, if you will analyze the percentage of vote that has been received by the Jagan Mohan Reddy and his party is the 40%. So here you can use it with the respect to the drawback of the first part of the post system. In the first part of the post system, despite there is the slight difference into the percentage, here the difference in the percentage is near about the 10%. However, the number of the seat that is the 10 times. Can you imagine the number of percentage of the vote is the 39 for the Jagan Mohan Reddy party. However, this is the near about the 50% for the TDP and the coalition for 55% here. However, the difference in seat is that 164 seat it is by the coalition and the 11 seat by the Jagan Mohan Reddy. So you will see that the 10 times, not 10 times, 15 times, 15 times, but the percentage of what is just 10%. As per the proportional system, what should have been the number of the seat? As per the proportional system, if you go with the 55% of the 175, it will be near about the 1995 seat. Okay. And uh, what should be the uh, number of the seat for the Jagan Mohan Reddy? It should have been near about, what should be, it should have been the 55, near about the 55 seats, but the, the difference is huge. There is the 176 seats and the 11 seats. So you can, whenever you are going to compare with the this two system, you can give the recent example of the election, you will find the same with the other parties as well. Next news that we are going to take is the Bijare judgment. It is with respect to the recent case where one of the couple, one member was from the Hindu community, other was the Muslim community. However, the judgment was such a, a regressive that the, the, judge, the judge was not able to recognize that the, what is the difference between the two law. There is the personal law with respect to the marriage, as well as there is the special marriage act. So, whenever there is the, if there is the difference into the religion and there is the interfaith religious marriages, we go for the Special Marriage Act. And here, the rituals of the marriage is not considered as the main effectiveness of the marriage. So here, the judge said that the, as per the Muslim law, personal law, if they do not believe into the idol, idolatry, it means the, do not believe in the idols. Like the, we believe, Hindus believe in the idols worship, However, the Muslims do not believe into the idol worship. So here, those who do not believe in the idol, uh, idol worship and you are going to marry with the, that person, it is not considered as the Muslim marriage and the, as per the Muslim personal law. law. <coughs> so here the judge considered that the, as it has been not followed by the Muslim religion and the rituals, so this marriage is not legitimate and it's cancelled. The main aim, the main focus area, the couple reach the court for the protection. But the thing is that the judge started looking into the rituals that is followed by the, this couple. So this is the thing that is the, a type of the regressive decision. After that, it is into the high court and the high court is considering the superiority of the Special Marriage Act and it considered that the, if the marriage is as per the Special Marriage Act, we will not go for the this uh, personal uh, personal law and the rituals. And here, the main editorial want to convey that 
when we want to go for a common uniform civil code, so we need to promote the special marriage act because it is secular, it has the secular stand. So despite the judiciary being the progressive, but the many of the such judgment create not hurdle for the uniform civil code, but many a times it shows the regressive nature of the judiciary itself. So whenever you have to criticize the judiciary, you can give such example, this, is, this will be much more effective. So this is all about from the, this editorial news. These are the four news that we have covered from the today's news. Here we will conclude our session. Thank you for joining the session. All the best, Jayant.